Hi, my name's David. I'm here to give you a quick walkthrough of Descara's all-in-one solution. We're going to mainly talk about books, CRM, and people, but we also have Shop, Report Builder, Document Builder, and Workflow Engine. Now let's click on the dashboard. Inside here I can see my invoices, my age receivable. I can select the bank and see the bank information, for example, Wells Fargo. So I can see how my bank is doing. I can see Descara CRM one and lost deals, pipeline view, contact report, monthly or yearly. I can see Descara people, expense claims, payroll, and leaves per month. Let's go to Descara books. Now we're at the dashboard. Inside here we can see invoices, age receivable, bills, your bank account, net cash flow, and profit and loss. Now if you look over to the left hand side we have sell, buy, products, contacts, pick, pack, ship, warehouse, reports, bank, accounting, apps, and settings. Let's go to buy. Inside here we have orders, bills, archived, and we have numbers, contacts, order date, due date, total amount, goods received, and quick action. If we click create new, we can create a new order, new bill, or a new expense bill. Let's click new order. Inside here we can select our contact. For example, Austin Circuits, we can select our custom fields like our outlets, projects, and we can input any remarks. We can add products. For example, let's select um, a monitor. I can hover over and see the available quantity. I can put in a discount. 10% would be flat if I do a percentage. It becomes a percentage discount here. I can attach a file, input a memo. I can click on custom field settings so I can see it's visible or I can hide it. I can set as recurring so I can set intervals. So for example, monthly, yearly, weekly, or custom. First document date, end date, never ends, and I can save it. I can click on more and I can select multi-currency options. And I can select the currency here. I can click on the number range and I can do a custom number range format. For example, prefix, separator, display digits, separator, and suffix. And I can save. I can click on it, click on the three dots. I can edit it and I can delete it. I can click manage and I can change the labels for item, description, quantity, UM, price, discount and I can save and close. I can click on bill and I can convert partially, convert only, and convert and auto receive. I can also click on the three dots and click on receive goods. I can change the receive date, I can change the warehouse, and I can change the receive quantity, for example, five. Now you can see it's partial. I can click on the three dots, click Receive Goods, and I can receive the remaining and click Receive. I can click on Bill, and it's been converted to a bill. Now we can see the bill inside here. We can click Pay. We can change the payment date. I can change the currency. I can change the amount here if I want to. I can select the payment from, payment type, check, bank transfer, or card. I can choose the reference date, put in the reference number, click next, and make payment. Close. Next, let's click on sell. Inside here, we can see quotes, invoice, archive. I can see number, contacts, quote date, due date, total amount, fulfillment, and quick action. If I click create new, we can create a new quote or new invoice. Let's click on create quote. Inside here, I can select the contact. I can select the outlet, the project, and remarks. These are my custom fields that I've created. And I can always add a custom field here. I can select the product. Put in the quantity. Again, I can put in a discount, attach a file, memos. Again, I can click custom field settings, set as recurring. Select multi-currency, I can do a custom number format, 
I can manage and change the label of item, description, quantity, UOM, price, and discount, and I can save and close. Next we can click convert. Inside here we can convert partially, convert fully, fulfill, and convert. We can click on the three dots and we can click fulfill. Inside here we can do direct fulfillment, pick, pack, ship, and drop ship. Let's click direct fulfillment and let's fulfill. Click convert. Next let's click on invoice and we can see our invoice here. We can click get paid. We can again change the payment date, select the currency, deposit to which bank, put the payment type, choose the reference date, input the reference number, click next, receive, and close. Under accounting, we have our chart of accounts, journal entries, opening balance, debit note, credit note, expense, deposit, and financial year closing. Inside bank, we have our number, account, bank accounts, balance, reporting balance, status, and quick action. We're able to connect, connect to Stripe, import statement, and delete. Next, let's go to reports. Inside here, we have our different financial reports, like our profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow statement, our general ledger and trial balance. We have our reconciliation reports and our statement of accounts. We have our tax compliance reports. This changes based upon which tax registry you've selected. We have our purchase reports, such as our age payable, our purchase order report, purchase by products and debit notes. We have our inventory reports, such as our stock availability by warehouse, stock ledger, stock aging report. Under sales, we have our outstanding sales fulfillment report, our age receivables, our invoice list, our credit notes and receipt lists. Next, let's go to apps. Inside here, we have our different payments, such as Veeam, PayPal, Stripe, and Wise. We have our different types of integrations, such as Integrately, Pabbly, Zapier, Integromat. We have our fixed assets. We have our stock transfer. We have our stock adjustment. You can track your shipments using USPS as well as FedEx. And we also have Ecom. Inside here, you connect to Amazon, Shopify, and WooCommerce. And that was a quick look at Discara Books. Next, let's click on Switch To and let's click on People. Inside here, I can see the pay schedule, payroll, components, benefits, employees, e-leave, expense, reports, and settings. If I click on Payroll, I can click on Pay Run. Inside here, I can see date, period, employee cost, employer cost, total payroll cost, and status. I can click up here and click Add Pay Run. I can select the pay schedule, pay period, monthly, weekly, twice per month, bi-weekly. I can select the work week, pay day. I can select the pay date. I can select the work period. And does this apply to all users or a specific user? And then I can click Process. Inside here, I can see employee, regular hours or regular days, loss of pay, additional earnings, any deductions, employee tax, and net pay. And this is all calculated based upon the country's tax compliance. So for example, since it's the US, you have the federal withholding tax, federal social security tax, federal Medicare, and the state withholding tax. For employer taxes, of course, you have the federal social security tax, federal Medicare tax, federal unemployment tax, and the state unemployment tax. And if I click on three dots, I can edit and delete it. Let's click Next, let's process payroll. It says here, to ensure accuracy, please review your payroll numbers and make sure they're 100% correct. Do you wish to continue to process payroll? Yes. Now, if I want to view the summary, I can click View Summary or I can click Finish. After it's completed, I can click on the eye icon to review. And that was a quick view of Discara People. Next, let's switch to Discara Sales. Now we're at the dashboard. Inside here we can see the organization, people, deals lost, deals won, contact report, any upcoming activities, deal stage, deal won versus deal lost, campaign, and tickets. If you look over on the left hand side you can see deals, contacts, campaign, marketing, your segments, emails, forms, our services such as guides, support, and our activities. Let's click on campaign 
Inside here we can see campaign name, category, publish date, and status. Let's click add campaign. Inside here we can input the campaign name, subject, we can select the category or add a category. We can select the segment. We can create a segment here as well. We can select the email template. If we want to, we can modify it. And then we can save and continue. Then we can click next. Inside here we can use my own SMT and I can click add email where I can put in my sender name, email address, username, password, server and port. Or I can use Tascara's email service, input the name, put in the sender email ID. And I can schedule now or schedule for later. I can select the timing. For example, 11 p.m. and I can click set and I can schedule. I can go to campaigns and I can also drill in and I can see clicked and total open and I can see how many people open, clicked, bounce, unsubscribed, last open and total open. Next let's click on deal. Inside here I can go to default pipeline and click on it. I can edit my pipelines that I've already created or I can add a new pipeline. Inside here I can see the new stage, one stage, and lost stage, and I can add additional stages here. I can also see a list view, so I can see which ones have been won and which ones are open. And if I want to create a deal, I can click on the plus sign here, or I can click on the create deal. I can put in the deal name. Contact person any organization name. I can select the sub owner. The visibility is a private team or for everyone. I can input the deal value and I can select my pipeline, closing date, deal date, and any custom fields that I have here. And I can save it. After that I can click on it and drill in. Inside here I can create an email if I've connected my email to Descara. You connect it under settings under email. So if I click create, I can put in the subject, input the information here. If I just want to log an email, I can click log email and input the information. Under activities, I can create an activity, put in the activity name, select the start date, end date, input any notes, assign it to, contact person, organization, and I can send a reminder email to the assignee and also send a reminder email to the contacts. We have calls, meetings, tasks, deadlines, emails, and lunch for our different activities. And I can save it. Once it's completed, I can just click this checkbox. I can go to notes and write a note. And I can add the note and I can see the log. Now I can go down here and move my deal to my different stages. And depending on if it's one or loss, I can drag it to one or loss, or I can drill in and click one. And then the deal's been closed. And then you can see the dashboard has been updated. And that was a quick look at Descara Sales.